Good evening. I'm Christy Castellano. I'm Jeff Kulikowski. Right now, protests continue across the country and here locally in the wake of George Floyd's death. The officers involved now facing new charges. Derek Chauvin was fired May 26 and is now facing upgraded charges of second degree murder, while the other three officers who were on the scene are charged with aiding and abetting second degree murder. Right now, let's head back down to Syracuse downtown to News Channel Line's Josh Martin. He's been live with the protesters again tonight. So, Josh, uh, describe tonight's protest for me. You've been with them the last several nights. Tonight remains peaceful. We're a little ahead of the protesters right now, Jeff. We're in the on-center parking lot where the protesters will be making their way from Salina Street to here. Over my shoulder, once again, organizers have set up a table where people can register to vote. The organizers want people to be able to register and then learn more about local, state, and federal elect elections. As for the marchers today, they made their way across the north side of, of Syracuse. Yesterday, it was the east side and the south side. Organizers tell me that it's important that they cover all parts of the city to make sure their message is being heard in all neighborhoods. After violence Saturday night, protests have been peaceful starting on Sunday all the way through this afternoon. Those who have marching have also made a point to thank police for helping them guide their way as they make their way throughout the city. As I said, we're a little ahead of the protesters now. They're going to be making their way here to the On Center. We'll continue to follow along with them as they go into this evening. Live in Syracuse, Josh Martin, News Channel 9.